Minister of Finance, Budget and Planning, Zainab Hamed, says most of the Nigerians' capital projects are recycled, thus gloping huge amounts of money on a yearly basis. She then said that the Nigerian government is working on review of salaries, which may lead to slashing of salaries of federal workers. The minister stated this as one of the remedies to reduce the high cost of governance. Ahmed reviewed this in Abuja at a forum tagged Policy Dialogue on Corruption and Cost of Governance in Nigeria on Tuesday. The event was organized by the National Headquarters of the Independent Corrupt Practice and Other Related Offenses Commission. The minister said President Muhammadu Buhari had asked the National Salaries, Incomes and Wages Commission to review the salaries of civil servants and employees of many agencies in the country to save costs. She therefore charged the agencies to work towards cutting down costs because deteriorating revenues by the government. According to her, the Nigerian government plans to remove certain items from the budget to reduce the cost of governance. She said, we still see government expenditure increase to a, a terrain twice higher than our revenue. The nation's budget are filled every year with projects that are being recycled over and over again and are also not necessary. Mr. President has directed that the salaries committee that I chair work together with the head of service and other members of the committee to review the government payroll in terms of cutting down on cost, Ahmed said. In his remark, the ICPC chairman, Professor Bolaji Owasonoye San, listed payroll padding and the saga of ghost workers and abuse of recruitment as areas of concern in governance cost. We have heard what is being said about the Nigerian government broke. We heard that the Nigerian government now has, you know, broke down in terms of financial ability. They are not financially buoyant as we spoke, as we are speaking now. The Nigerian government has broke and this may lead to the slash of worker salary as financial ministers have lament. Well, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this Nigerian government broke. Emmanuel Falabi said, Why slashing only worker salary? While you, the ministers and lawmakers, are any big, you people are greedy elements. We have heard what Emmanuel Falabi has said about this slashing of worker salary that why will you have to slash only the worker salary? Whereas the minister and the lawmakers are earning big, you people are greedy elements. Looking at what Afolabi has said, that the worker salary shouldn't be the only one being slashed, but even the lawmakers and ministers' salary also should be slashed because these people are earning big even more than the worker salary, and yet their own is not being slashed. What do you think of what is being said? We would like to know your own thoughts and reaction about this. Let's move further and see what other people's reactions is on this. Danito Kuta said, Nigeria has been broke since before you became a minister. The question is, what have you done to solve the problem of revenue decline since the assumption of office? We have had another comment from Danito Kuta who said Nigeria has been broke since before these people were even appointed as ministers. Now the question is, what have you guys done to solve the problem of revenue decline since the assumption of office? Eze Emmanuel also said, you can't be doing same thing all the time and expect different results. In the next coming election, let the Muslim vote Muslim Christian votes Christians, Yoruba choose Yorubas, and Igbos choose Igbos. The corrupt thieves are already sharing small rice, but with little out of plenty money they stole. The economy keep going down, 
after almost 60 years of independence and we are all into this mess that was another nice comment from Eze Emmanuel who has spoke out the truth and said we keep on doing the same thing and expect different results tell me how is that possible for you to get a different result while you keep on doing the same thing he said let the muslim vote for muslim then the christians vote for christians yorubas choose yoruba and Igbos, you know vote for Igbos. that the corrupt tips among them have already you know start sharing small small rice but with little money out of plenty money they have stole the economy keep going down for almost 60 years now nigeria has gained independence and we all are into this mess we hope that the law will just vindicate us because the way nigeria is now nobody can help anybody we need only god's intervention on this issue well let's move further and see what other people's reactions is on this uju ajayi also said you better start from the presidency and senate and house of representatives they are not representing us but their pockets we have had another nice comment from oju ajayi who has said that you should start the slashing from the presidency and also end senate and house of representatives because these people are not representing us they are only representing their pockets what do you have to say about what oju has said what do you make of what has been said so far we would like to know your own reaction and thought about what has been said we have had Oju referring to these people as criminal senate and they are not representing us they are only representing their pockets what are the criminal senate and rep doing what are they doing they are only representing their pockets they don't know who is who after they assume office what do you make of that well let's move forward and see what other people reactions is on this matter Olale Kampustiga said, start from the president down to the red and green chambers, the governors, ministers, chairmen, and councillors first, before finally moving to the civil servant. We have heard what Olale Kon has also said about this issue of slashing of salaries of the civil servant. He said, you should start from the president down to the red and green chambers, the governors, ministers, chairmen, and counselors before you can now finally move to the civil servant if looking at the salaries of the civil servant how much are they being paid that you are thinking of slashing out of their monthly salaries of which these are governors are senators are chairmen are counselors they are you know living big and you don't even think of slashing their own salaries that is why Ola Lekon is saying that you should not even start from the you know civil something there should be the last people you should start from the president of which who is the head of the state and head of the nation if you start from the president down to the red and green chambers including the governors the ministers chairman and other councillors first before you cannot finally move to the civil servants we need to reduce the cost of governance by slashing public salaries and allowances by 50 percent what do you think can be done people are sharing their own opinions and ideas with us we would like you to share your own thoughts and reaction with what has been said so far thank you guys for listening do subscribe to this channel if you have not and i'll see you on the other news bye for now